Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the 28th episode of the Sira Stories. I hope that you're enjoying and learning many useful lessons from the life of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the previous episode, we discussed the incidents which occurred during the Battle of Badr. Today, inshallah, we will learn what happened when the fight was over. So let's begin. The Battle of Badr is known with few other names such as the Day of the Criterion, which means Yawmul Furqan, which is mentioned in the Qur'an due to the reason that it was the first large-scale war between the Muslims and the Quraysh of Mecca. On that day, the mountains of Badr witnessed what was unique in the history of the Arabs, a day when the father was not looking if his own son was under his sword, an uncle was fighting with his nephew, and the close relatives and friends found each other on the opposite side of the battleground. It was the day when evil was separated from good. There was no relationship greater than the relationship based on Islam. Those who denied the message of Allah were considered as enemies, and those who were fighting for Islam were bonded together with a special bond of brotherhood. Looking at the size of the army of the Muslims of only around 313 men, two horses and 70 camels, yet they defeated an army of 1,000 well-equipped and heavily armed soldiers. And the Prophet ﷺ prayed greatly for Allah's support and his prayer was answered. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aided the Muslims with the army of a thousand angels. The battle's victory proved to be important in the history of Islam until today. And we also learned that two young Ansari teenagers injured the biggest enemy Abu Jahl so badly that he died later due to those injuries. The Muslims in Medina were waiting patiently to find out what happened during the war. On arrival to Medina, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, consulted his companions regarding these war prisoners. Showing great mercy, it was decided that each prisoner could pay the ransom to get free or teach 10 Muslims reading and writing. The Prophet ﷺ treated knowledgeable people with great honor and respect. Muslims were very kind to their prisoners. They did not trouble them. In fact, they shared their food and water with them. Some of the prisoners were set free without the ransom. This shows us again the simplicity of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and in fact, many of the prisoners of the Battle of Badr eventually accepted Islam, looking at the good manners of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the way they were treated by the other Muslims. Some of them who embraced Islam includes Nawfal ibn Harith and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's uncle Abbas ibn Muttalib. Hence, a number of inspiring lessons can be learned from this battle which can be truly motivating when we face tests and trials in our day-to-day -day lives. So let's reflect upon some of the lessons we learned from this battle. Number 1. Reliance and Tawakkul on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala This battle is where the early Muslims learned the lessons of the power of putting their total faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And it is a battle in which Allah guided the new Muslim community, teaching them the way of reliance on Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angels from the unseen world to give firmness to the believers. It was also the fulfillment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's promise to send tranquility and peace upon those who have firm faith. And number two, the power of dua. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole night before the battle started. Even during the intensity of the battle, he was praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the help and success and eventually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his aid in the form of a thousand angels to strengthen the forces of the Muslims. Despite the large army of the disbelievers, the Muslims eventually won. We should always remember the power of prayers and dua as this is one of the main lessons we learn from the Battle of Badr. Number 3. Unity of the Muslims the present and the future. 
Another great lesson from Badr is that unity has power. It is essential for us to be united. The Muhajirun and the Ansar set a great example for Muslims to follow. They fought side by side their brothers in faith without any disagreements. The dua of the Prophet ﷺ also highlighted unity. He expressed concern for future generations of believers. And as Muslims, it is crucial to stay united and care for all believers no matter where they are from. And number four, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a latif. His plans are subtle but brilliant. During the Battle of Badr, Allah helped the Muslims with rain, which gave them an advantage as the sand flattened and made their movement easier. On the other hand, it also obstructed the disbelievers. Moreover, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed them with restful sleep, which took their fear and made them ready next morning for the big fight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also showed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a dream in which the enemies appeared very few in number. And he then described his dream to the Muslim army of Badr. By simply showing this dream, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the entire way the believers viewed their enemy and he totally shifted their perspective of things, leading to their success. We should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing, appreciate his favors and have faith in his plan. And number five, don't fear your enemies. Allah is with you. The Muslim army consisted of around 313 people with only two horses and 70 camels. Most of the army did not even possess simple weapons to fight. Some had swords but no bows and arrows while others had spears but no swords. The army was not well equipped nor well prepared for the war. Also amongst the Muslims were the old and the weak and they were fasting as it was Ramadan. On the other hand, the Quraysh had a huge army of 1,300 well-equipped soldiers, including 100 horsemen and a large number of camels to fight the Muslims. But due to the complete faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Muslims conquered the large army. What we learn from this success in Badr is that our success is only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah is with us, our efforts will be fruitful and we must seek our success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only and never feel defeated. And number six, seize the opportunity to do good. The companions competed with each other, racing to get the rewards. It was a race between friends, between brothers. Now the key lesson is that the companions of the Prophet sallallahu didn't let go of any opportunity to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Islam. They grabbed these moments as soon as they came. Their enthusiasm is a wonderful characteristic that we can learn from. Always seize an opportunity to do good. And don't delay it for another time because there is a chance that opportunity might not return again. So now listen carefully and reflect. Whenever you feel down, defeated or sad, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help is always near. All you need to do is call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be patient. So don't ever feel that there is no time to change or make big changes. We shouldn't feel defeated internally by giving up to laziness or making excuses or failing to perform our best to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should follow the examples of the brave Muslims of Badr for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can open all sorts of new avenues for us that we never even imagined. With this, we come to the end of today's episode. Join me next time. Until then, Jazakallahu khair and Assalamu alaikum. Please don't forget to press the like button below and subscribe to our channel, Zilnorain. Uh-huh.